<laughs> Don't bother trying to write poems like this until you're on Yuri's level. You just fought with her yesterday about being so complicated. Don't tell me. Eh? You're not you're not just trying to impress Yuri, are you? What are you talking about? Keep your voice down. You know she would love to Bubbles are not angsty either. Just because she's a talented writer doesn't mean I mean Looks like I'm in trouble. I somehow struck a nerve, though what I did is beyond me. I am so done with you. She shoves the poem I handed her back over to me. Take your stupid poem if you wrote it for someone else, just don't show it to me. Ouch. Ouch. <laughs> this is what I get for letting a younger girl step into my business. Unless I was a mind reader, I was destined to be in a world of pain from the start. At least Natsuki wasn't really the girl I was trying to impress in the first place. I don't get to read hers? This is malarkey. Hello. Stares at the poem with a surprised expression on her face. Someone please comment on the bubbles. This one might even be better than yesterday's. How did you even pick up on this so quickly? Just yesterday I was just telling you the kind of techniques worth techniques worth practicing. Oh, I'm gonna sneeze in a second. Maybe. That's why. You did it. Good job explaining. I really wanted to give it more imagery. Yuri visibly swallows. Well, I did kind of use Starscape and... Did I choose the horizon? Whatever. I'm not used to this. Used to what? I don't know. It's fine. Take your time. Breathes and collects her thoughts. I know she likes to think before she speaks, so I offer the patience to do that. Or I offer that patience to her. Yeah. Just being appreciated like this, I guess. Probably sounds really stupid, but seeing someone motivated by my writing, it just makes me really happy. Are you, say are you saying that you've never shared your writing before? Yuri nods. Really, I don't believe it. I only write for myself. And besides, people would just laugh at me. Do you really think that? Again, Yuri nods. Huh. Even your close friends? I won't. She doesn't have any close friends, probably, and that's why. Do you want to share the poem you wrote today? Well, besides our player character, of course. I do. If it's with, t t t why do you. T why do you have to. Why do you have to put in that caveat? I'm pretty sure you have to share it with everyone. The raccoon. Alright, it happened in the dead of night while I was slicing bread from a guilty snack. My attention was caught by the scuttling of a wreck or scuttering. I don't know. Outside my window. That was, I believe, the first time I noticed my strained tendencies as a... <laughs> I think I noticed my strange tendencies as an ordinary human. I gave the raccoon a piece of piece, piece of bread. Wow. Okay. My subconscious, well aware of the consequences, well aware that that raccoon that is fed will always come back for more. The enticing beauty of my cutting knife was the symptom. I think is what that says. I don't know. The scripty writing is hard to read sometimes. The bread, my. Okay. The enticing beauty of my cutting knife was the symptom. My bread, the curiosity, the raccoon. An urge? Okay, I think that's what that was. The raccoon and urge. The moon increments its phase and affects that much more of the light off of my cutting knife. 
The very same light that glistens in the eyes of my raccoon friend. I slice the bread, fresh and soft, the raccoon becomes excited. Or perhaps I am merely projecting my emotions onto the newly satisfied animal. That could be possible. People like to do that. The raccoon has taken to following me. You could say that we've gotten quite used to each other. The raccoon becomes hungry more and more frequently, so my bread is always handy. Every time I brandish my cutting knife, the raccoon shows me its excitement. A rush of blood. Classic. Classic Pavlovian conditioning. I slice the bread, and I feel myself again. And I feed myself again. Is the raccoon a metaphor? Is that, is that what that last line means? Um, it was a little more daring with this one than yesterday's. I can see that. It's a lot more metaphorical. I don't know if it's my fault, but I can't begin to imagine what this poem is about. The raccoon is the urge. Yeah, that was a metaphor. I'm silly. Closer to my preferred it's a bit closer to my preferred writing style. Using the poem as a canvas to express vivid imagery and conveying emotions through them. <laughs> yeah, if I take that at face value, then I can't even figure out what it's supposed to mean. Well, I think some things different people can relate to in their own way. I wanted to express the way someone it feels for me to indulge in my more unusual hobbies. It's those sorts of things that I'm usually forced to keep them to myself, so I sometimes enjoy writing about them. Why do you keep them to yourself? As established before, because her friends laugh at her. They're embarrassing, and people would make fun of me. Don't you have anything like that? Well, the player character's weird notions with you, yeah. I guess I do. I feel like everyone has a little something like that. The best we can do is respect each other and our individuality, individualities. Even if it's difficult and some things make us uncomfortable. After all, I've learned to embrace my own... If I hadn't learned to embrace my own weirdness, I would probably hate myself. And that would be not be good. Do embrace your weirdness. I appreciate that. I might be ranting a little bit now. But I'm glad that you're a good listener. You're good at a lot of things. Writing, listening. There really aren't many people like you. But that's exaggerating a little bit. I, it's just how I feel. I never thought I would be so comfortable sharing my writing. But now I almost feel like I look forward to it. It's just a really nice feeling, and you're to thank for that. <clears throat> no problem. She smiles sincerely at me. For just a moment, her timidness seems to disappear. Wonderful. We're down to Monica. I promise I'm not going to skip your poem this time. Hi again. I get a oddly, or a vague, not oddly, I get a vague, like, Pira from Ruby vibe from just the way her character is. How's the writing going? Alright, I guess. I'll take that. As long as it's not going bad. I'm happy you're applying yourself. Maybe soon you'll come up with a masterpiece. Aw oh man, I want to lean back in my chair, but my chair of tape or leaning back takes me so far away from the microphone. <laughs> I wouldn't count on that. You never know. Want to share what you wrote for today? Sure, here you go. I give my poem to Monica. Ellipses. Alright. This one's good. Feels like you're not only getting more comfortable with your style, but the imagery is better than the last one I read. Just wondering, but have you been finding inspiration in Yuri's writing style? Hmm. Part of me wants to like I don't I don't want to just deliberately select something to get different results because that's not very genuine but part of me wants to just throw in some more i don't know opposite of what i happen to keep choosing to see what else happens i guess you can't deny that she's talented yeah totally i think her poem poems are the most 
romantic. But that was with a capital R, though, so... Yeah, that's the best way to describe it. She's like a totally different person when she opens up a pen. I noticed- or picks up a pen. Did I say opens up a pen? <laughs> I'm stupid. <laughs> I noticed that, too. Or when she's talking about literature, it's like the lights turn on inside her head. Mmm. Sadly, it's hard to get to it's hard to get much personal conversation out of her. Trust me, I've tried. Who knows what's going on inside that head of hers? I hope you don't mean that in a bad way. Of course not. Why would Why are they making her up to be some kind of villain? I just mean that she wish she didn't keep so much to herself. But still defending her like that. You must be pretty into her figure skating pose. Eh, you completely misunderstood. Ah ha ha, calm down, I'm kidding. Besides, I'm pretty sure she's already got a boyfriend. Ooh! Here lies player characters' hopes and dreams. <laughs> Wait, really? Oh, a fictional one, anyway. <laughs> trolled, trolled hard. Monica kind of whispers that last part to me. It's just a hunch, but there's nothing really wrong with that. Oh, well, that f oh, wait, was that a dig? I thought she was just trolling us, but that could have. Was that I was just saying. But anyway, you want to read my poem now? I like the way this one turned out, so I hope you do too. Sing songy quotation mark. Alright, let's take a look. Save me, the colors they won't stop. Bright, beautiful colors, flashing, expanding, piercing. Red, green, blue, and endless. Is that supposed to be canopy? No, that's not right. Is that just... Of meaningless noise. The noise that won't stop. Violent, grating, waveforms, squeaking, screeching, piercing. Sine, cosine, tangent. <laughs> The best way to describe pointless noise is to bring math terms into it. <laughs> Good call. Like playing chalkboard on a turn- like playing a chalkboard on a turntable, like playing a vinyl on a pizza crust. That first one made my ears hurt just thinking about it. An endless poem of meaningless- Load me? Was that a hint? No? Maybe I'm reading too much into that. It's even more abstract than your last one, huh? I liked it. That was cool. Went from describing imagery to noise. It's just the way I write. I'm sorry if you don't like it. Oh, I like it. It's just the kind of thing I've never really seen before, I guess. I like... I kind of like playing with my space on the paper. Choosing where and how to space your words can totally change the mood of the poem. Yeah, writing down something with your, like, hand does kind of grant... Well, grants an easier access to that kind of freedom than doing it on a keyboard. It's almost like magic. The way I wrote these li the lines really short makes it feel like they're trying to speak over the noise. I see. It's still hard for me to tell what it's about, though. Ah ha ha. Sometimes asking what a poem out is about isn't the right question. Agreed. A poem can be as direct as a physical expression of a feeling. Or a conversation with the reader. So putting it that way, not every poem is about something. Anyway, here's Monica's writing tip of the day. Sometimes you'll find yourself facing a difficult decision. When that happens, don't forget to save your game. Okay. Is that where the load me came from? You never know when you might change your mind. Or when something unexpected may happen. Wait, is this tip even about writing? What am I even talking about? <laughs> nice, nice fourth wall leaning there. That's my advice for today. Thanks for listening. 
Okay, everyone. We're all done reading each other's poems, right? Is that is a fight broken out again? Yeah. I have something extra planned today, so I'll sit in the front of the room. Is this about the festival? Well, sort of. Sing song in quotation. Though, do we really have to do something for the festival? It's not like we can put together anything and good in just a few days. We'll just end up embarrassing ourselves instead of getting any new members. Oh, we have to try something at least. That's a concern of mine as well. I don't really do well with last minute preparations. We have a day between poems and you guys do just fine with that. Don't worry so much. Yeah. We're gonna keep it simple. Just wing it. You won't need much more than a few decorations. Sayori has been working on posters. I've designed some fan flits that we can give out during the events. I tried to start a revolution, but I didn't print out enough fan flits. No one came but my mum. <laughs> Sorry. Just the word pamphlets will not be as I just can't it's just associated with Korg from Thor Ragnarok. Now. Oh. Okay, that's great and all. But that doesn't tell us what we're actually going to be doing for the event. Oh, sorry, I thought you heard about it already. We're going to be performing. Like we're gonna read the poetry that we write out loud? To a bunch of people? Not cool. Yeah, we're going to be having a poetry t Are people gonna snap for us? <laughs> we're each going to choose a poem to recite during the event. And the cool part is we're going to let anyone else come up and recite poems too so it's like an open mic so always putting all it on all the posters in case anyone wants to prepare ahead of time <laughs> see look at her she's already ready to snap for everyone Sayori, who's been coloring a poster holds it up for us to see are you kidding me monica you didn't already start putting those posters up did you Eh. Well, I did. Do you really think it's that bad of an idea? Well, no. It's not a bad idea. But I didn't sign up for this, you know. There's no way I'm going to be performing in front of a group of people like that. I agree with Natsuki. I could never in my life do something like that. Imagining Yuri... Imagining it, Yuri shakes her head in fear. Guys. No, Sayori. I understand where they're coming from. Remember that Natsuki and Yuri have never shared, th shared their poems with anyone until a few days ago. It's a lot to ask for them to recite their poems out loud to a whole room full of people. I guess I kind of overlooked that. So I'm sorry. But, I still think we should give it our best. We're the only ones responsible for the fate of this club. If we start the event and each put on a good performance... Then it will inspire the others to do the same. And the more people who perform, the better we will be able to show everyone what the literature is all about. Yeah. And then she snapped or something. It looks like. It's about expressing your feelings. Being intimate with yourself. Finding new horizons. Are you just... Just throw that on your posters. That's right. And that's the reasons we're all in this club today. Don't you want to share that with the others? To inspire them and find the feelings that brought you here in the first place? I know you do. I know we all do. If all it takes is standing in front of the room for, th for a minute or two reciting a poem, then I know you can do it. They remain silent. Sayori looks worried. I guess that leaves me no choice. I agree. Tiebreaker. I don't think it's too much to ask. I think that Sayori and Monica have been trying really hard to get new members. The least we can do is help them out a little bit. Well, maybe, but... <clears throat> it looks like Natsuki doesn't have any arguments left. Yeah, blah. Okay, fine. I guess I'll just have to get it over with. Alright. Phew! Thanks, Natsuki. What about you, Yuri? Ellipses. Yuri dejectedly glances, glances around at everyone else's expected faces. Sigh. In quotes. I guess I don't really have a choice. Aha, that's everyone. You're the best, Yuri. 
This club is seriously going to be the death. Okay. Oh gosh. You'll be fine. But anyway, let's move on to the main event. I want each of you to choose a poem of yours. Okay. We're going to practice reading them in front of each other. No way. Monica. It's too sudden. If you can't recite your poem in front of the club, then how do you... We've been... We share them with everyone already. Why does it matter? Don't worry. I'll start off to help everyone feel a little bit more comfortable. Can I go next? Of course. Now let's see. Flips through her notebook to a specific poem she has in mind for herself and stands behind the podium. The title of this poem is The Way They Fly. Ahem. <clears throat> she begins reciting her poem. Her clear, confident voice fills the room. More than that, her inflection is pristine. She knows exactly how to apply to emotion behind each line she recites, bringing the words to life. <clears throat> Teach me that skill. That would probably make this particular playthrough a lot better. Is it something she's done before, or is she simply... So do I not get to know the contents of the words of this poem, either? Everyone has their eyes on Monica. Sayori looks amazed. Yuri has an intense expression on her face that I don't understand. Finally, Monica finishes the re recitation. The four of us applaud. Monica takes a breath and smiles. That, that was good. 